Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and I wanted to get this out here because midnight's coming, and I know um, I'm probably going to be a little bit late on this because I just thought about it, and so I hope some of you will get this video, and it's once to explain, I want to explain to you why you do not want to pick Deion Sanders as your option, why you don't want to take Deion Sanders. So Deion Sanders has some pretty good stats. I'll read them to you because I didn't pick him. Uh, so I can't show you his stats on my thing, but I'll read them to you because uh, a friend tweeted it at me. Let's see here if I can find Dion. Let's see. All right, here's here's Dion's stats. He's got 87 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, 89 man, 85 zone, 65 press, 83 play rec, and 76 catching. Um, now that sounds good, but if you take a look here at the 84 overall corners... I've picked up Jimmy Smith and Joe Hayden for myself uh, already. I'm still contemplating Tremaine Johnson or Prince of Mukamara uh, to pick up as well on top of them. But let's take a look at these guys' stats, and I'll explain to you why you do not want to take Deion Sanders. So Jimmy Smith, 83 speed. Well, we're just going to ignore every. We're just going to look at speed, man, zone, and press. So he's got 83 speed, 80 man, 80 zone, 87 press, and 87 play recognition. Now, that's not exactly... Uh, everything else is below Dion, obviously, but for me, I press a lot, and it's a big, it's actually a pretty important stat, uh, in Madden for me, like, it's, it's, it's proven to be, like, an important part, um, if you don't press, I still find it relatively important to have it, um, because you can significantly tell off of, uh, off of the break when someone's press isn't very high, and that press is 22 points below Jimmy Smith. He's only four slower than Dion. The man is nine lower, and zone is five lower, and three less play rec. Um, the acceleration and agility, they're decently important for corners, but if you're not pressing your corner, which you won't with Dion, acceleration and agility become less important because you already have a you already have a boost off of the line of scrimmage because you're already behind, you're already backed off you have room so jimmy smith stacks up pretty well to Dion. tremaine johnson 82 speed 83 man 79 zone 79 press 82 play recognition his press is a little lower uh but his man is a little bit higher um i don't play a lot of zone this matters a little bit against Dion. it's six lower zone but it's not huge um his excel and agility are everything is lower except the press but these are comparable options, and they're pretty cheap. Um, the comparable options to Barry and the comparable options to uh, Jerry Rice and the comparable options to Ray Lewis, even the comparable options to Brady are pretty expensive. They're in the 40K range uh, of comparable options to him. The comparable options to Dion are 16K. Why did this dude here buy... <laughs> Why did he pay like an extra 1,200 coins for this Jimmy Smith? Um, the comparable options here, though, for the Dion are a lot more reasonably priced. You also need multiple corners. So you say, you say you lock down a position. If you take any of the other ones except Jerry, you need multiple wide receivers. But you lock the position down. If you take one of these guys, you take multiple of these guys, you stack the position with solid corners. You get a free champ Bailey anyway, which can get up to an 85. Um, and then you're not... I just feel like the comparable options to Deion Sanders are enough to not take him. Like this, like Prince of Mukamara's stats are about as close as you're going to get. He's got 84 speed. That's only three less. He's four less excel, two less agility. His man and zone are lower. It's eight and seven. And but his press 16 higher. Play rec only two less. Prince of Mukamara, I think, is probably the best option. I just took Jimmy Smith and. Joe Hayden because I like him more, but I, I'll probably be picking up Prince here soon because it's just stacked. They're just like, if you compare them to the Champ Bailey, you're going to get for free. You can see Champ stats are better um, on everything except press, but Champ can't press either. The free el the free elites they're giving you at corner, Champ and, and uh, Dion can't press. And it's a huge important thing to me, and I know it's important to a lot of people. That's why I'm talking about this. And that's why uh, Prince of Mukamara is going to be a pickup for me. Uh, we'll take a look at Joe Hayden. He's one of the more expensive options, but his press is 86. 
it's the highest press out of these options uh, at 86, and it tops Dion's by 21. You're giving up uh, a decent chunk in zone and man. You're giving up 10 man and 7 zone. Uh, but his acceleration, his agility is actually higher than Dion's, and his acceleration 5 back, speed 4 back. And you can see Dion is a better p card. But my point here is, is that is it worth... Is it worth the option of taking Dion over the others? In my opinion, it's not worth it at all. Uh, the Dion Sanders is a good card, but it's not worth it. And Terrence Newman, Terrence Newman's man and zone are on par with Dion's. They're two less man, one higher zone. You give up speed, but he has a better press than Dion, and even he's a better option. He's got six better play rack. I really do like this Terrence Newman card. Um, I want to give it a test because it's not really that expensive. Because it just looks like it's a smart card that's going to play disciplined man and zone uh, coverage, which is what I really like. And so I might actually try that out. But even you've got the Sean Smith here. He's a little bit more expensive, but his stats are a little bit higher. His speed is low, but everything else pretty comparable to Dion's. You got this Jamar Taylor. Stats pretty comparable to Dion's. Speed's even more comparable. So Jamar Taylor's an option, but I like my press in the 80s, so that's why I don't have him. You even got the Rod Woodson down here. We're starting to approach higher dollar territory or higher price territory, but look at those stats on the Rod Woodson. His man and zone are weak, but his speed, excel, agility, all on par with Dion's. Desmond Trufant. This will probably be the last one I show because now we're getting into like expensive territory like this Jalen Ramsey. Like Jalen Jalen Ramsey, a bit, a bit overpriced, uh, in my opinion. And then you've got the Desmond Trufant. I show Desmond, but Desmond Trufant, pretty comparable to Dion as well. That press, really nice. But I don't think you need to spend up that high. I think uh, I'll rank them in order. Prince of Mukamara and Jimmy Smith are about tied. Jimmy Smith's stats are low-key, like, fire stats. Same with Prince of Mukamara. Then there's Joe Hayden, Tremaine Johnson, Terrence Newman. I mean, the comparable players here at the 84 overall to the Dion are just so much better than the comparable players to the rest of the options. I mean, you can go up here to the 86. Byron Maxwell, not too expensive. His stats are even more comparable. He's 30K, which is a little bit more than I'd like to spend at this point, but they're comparable. And these guys' prices will only drop, and Dion's value as your GOAT edition pick goes down and down and down. And there's even 82 and 83 overall guys that I like. William Gay for cheap. He's got pretty good stats. His man's a little weak, but uh, he's got some pretty good stats. And I just think at corner, I think if with your GOAT edition player, you can do better than, than the Deion Sanders. That is just my opinion, but I think you can do better than the Deion Sanders. Um, to show, like, even to show that I... I believe in these corners, these good corners, that much. I'm going to buy my Prince of Mukamara now. He's on the Bears. All right, all right, buy now. All right, six, okay. Let me get this one for 16. All right, so now I'm just, I love my corners now. These corners are beast. Um, I have to figure out which one I want to put in the slot and whatnot, but we got some pretty beast corners out here. I'm extremely happy with... Um, my whole setup i still got a ton of coins and my team is almost completely set guys it's almost ready it's almost polished and just ready to start grinding um on it so yeah that's gonna do it i just wanted to explain to you guys why i felt like Dion sanders is not the best option for your goat edition player um so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in my next video let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys think about the other players if, if there's a reason not to take them but i know some people won't get their game until tomorrow so i hope this helped you guys and maybe i caught a couple of guys before they chose their goat edition as Dion. but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys later peace out